YouTube and welcome to your 15th JavaScript tutorial. In the last tutorial we learned about inheritance in JavaScript and how properties and methods of one constructor function could be inherited into another. In this tutorial we'll be learning how to create private methods and properties in a JavaScript constructor function. Okay, to start with let's create a constructor function with name let's say petrol pump and let's supply with an argument mm, petrol liters let's create our private variables look carefully that's how you create it to create a private variable you either write the variable followed by var keyword or do not write var at all because both will point to this function only but if you want to create private variable do not write this keyword because this would refer to the object and then object could actually access that variable so to create private variables use the keyword var or nothing at all I'm using no keyword here so let's give petrol price per liter let's say 50 INR 50 60 INR I guess right now is equal to one dollar okay then let's create a method total price is function and let it return petrol price per liter star petrol in liters that is supplied by the user please notice that I haven't used the keyword this here because this is a private variable and we do not require to use this keyword right here okay so we have this total price uh, let's create another method which says gas filled but let's create this as a public method and uh, let's do this dot fill function and let's call this method and this dot price is equal to total price and let's do return this dot price and just do like this your total prices okay we are all set now let's create an object car is equal to new petrol pump and let's supply let's say I want to get 5 liters of petrol and let's do a console log of car dot fill let's check this out in a browser and as you can see the output is output is your total price is 250 now what's happening here is we created a new object with the new keyword new petrol pump 5 this argument is supplied here price per liter here then this dot fill method when this dot fill method is called this dot fill request the total price method now this method is accessible by the this dot fill method because they belong to the same constructor function but if we try to do console dot log car dot total price then it would result in an error we refresh this page and as you can see it says uncaught type error undefined is not a function this means that this fun this method and this property is private to this constructor function but once you use the keyword this then the property or the method becomes the global and could be accessed by the object so this was a short tutorial on private methods and properties you could use these private methods and properties to protect your code or kind of when you're working on servers like node.js 
then you use these private and public properties just like you do in CS, uh, C++ and Java and PHP like that to protect unnecessary access allowance to your objects so this was a short tutorial on private methods and properties and I hope you learned something from it don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching the video